American, American Gothic, Gothic Parodies. <laughs> I'm Anna. And I'm Abby. And we are here today to discuss the painting American Gothic. No, oh, no, no, no. We will, we will truly, truly be talking, talking about, about the parodies of this painting because that's, that's way, way more fun. fun. The American Gothic painting was brought to life by Grant Wood during the year of 1930. You can view his piece of artwork at the Art Institute of Chicago. This painting is perhaps one of the most famous paintings of the modern era. Many people will recognize this painting and the parodies that were based off this world-renowned image. So why is it that this picture has captured the hearts of many? Is it the basic and rural, rural home style or the simplistic approach to the classic family portrait? Either way, this painting has caught the attention of thousands, and these people chose to imitate Grant Wood in order to produce humorous, political, and just plain fun parodies. In the American Gothic painting, the main focus is on the two people in the foreground of the painting. The man and the woman appear to be clad in original 1930 apparel. They are simply living people, clearly living on the countryside as farmers. The setting of this image is set in Iowa, as was recorded by the artist. The man holds a pitchfork in his hand and wears typical farmer clothing. The woman stands next to him, looking away from the camera angle, but rather into the distance beyond the painter's perspective. She is also wearing typical housewife clothing. The house in the background creates a pyramid structure. Beyond the features in the foreground, this creates a center focus on the figures and a sense of depth, depth to the painting. The sun, although not present in the frame, seems to cast light on the, onto the left side of the figure's bodies, creating a shadow to the right. This painting seems to symbolize the importance of families and family farms. My personal favorite parody is that which depicts characters from MTV's Jersey Shore. Vinny and Angela from the television series are used instead of the typical farmer couple. Although the background of the painting is different than that of the original, the same effect is generated. The iconic pitchfork is used and the female is positioned to the left of the male figure. The image is different, but the American Gothic effect is carried throughout the picture. One of my favorite American Gothic parodies is the parody inspired by the Muppets. In this example, the object, such as the pitchfork, is the same and also the background is very close to the original, with a small glimpse of the farm in the background. What makes this different is the woman role and the man role have been switched. Also, instead of the faces being of a man and a woman, they are of Miss Piggy and Kermit. This is an excellent example of a parody. As said by Charles Caleb Cohen, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Many artists have copied the technique and design of Grant Wood's American Gothic, but this still leaves the question, why? Abby and I have come to our own conclusion. This painting represents the heart of America. It is simple to copy due to the lesser number of objects and figures in the frame. The farm and rural landscape just barely peek over the top of the figures' heads. 
this leaves, leaves little room for background figures, putting all the attention on the faces and the flaws. The painting is versatile in meaning, leaving it up for interpretation. This painting represents America, more specifically, Iowa, and the simplistic nature of liberty and freedom. Oh, and who wouldn't want to make fun of serious old people? Thank you for listening to our discussion about American Gothic, painted by Grant Wood, and the parodies that were inspired by this iconic image. Please enjoy our own parody of the modern hip-hop song, A Lady. School, I didn't even learn. I heard you got me. That completely absurd. Man, I wouldn't shake his hand with a broke hand. I don't be a green cow. Very <laughs> teach me. 100. Sit in the classroom on the smart board. Grab the cow and then calculate this. Okay, now students, yeah, you know your art. Yeah, don't you need no class, got your own brain, put your hands up. If you hate class, can you let me hear you huh? Get a pen, take some notes, listen here, show them how to stay at work. Get them grades, do the smart kid dance. Take your pencil, then you left me in a trance.